democratic dictators who hide behind this veneer of democracy but are more abusive than dictators, then it becomes difficult. Can you imagine that there is Panama Leaks, which is a scandal everybody in the world has accepted, nobody has questioned it. And we as citizens and as opposition party, whose right it is to oppose the government if they are wrong, are doing a protest. And the way we have been treated in that protest, I think even animals would be ashamed of this treatment. I'm one of the most prominent faces in Pakistan, not only because of politics. I'm a consultant, I'm a teacher, I'm a writer, I'm a coach, I'm a trainer, I'm a journalist. And I go out to protest, asking the government that your name has come into Panama Leaks and please show us the money trail that you've taken out. Otherwise, do you assume that we are okay with money laundering and with tax evasion? No, we're not. And I'm just peacefully going on a road and I am taken by my neck, beaten up, thrown into a police van and then opened fire by the police over there. And I can do nothing about it. If somebody as prominent as me was meted out this treatment, 99% women and children and girls and men in Pakistan who don't have a voice like me are treated like that every single day and nobody can do anything about it. So America has a leadership role to play and uh, being a leader, it should ensure that all those countries whom they want to inspire to become developed and peaceful are not countries whom they just give money but are countries whom they help, support and ensure that this money is going into education, into health and removing corruption because corruption has a direct link with terrorism. Corrupt governments will not spend on education, not spend on health, but will spend on their own personal interests. We want US that when they give financial aid, they make sure that the money is going into these areas so that there is peace in Pakistan, there's development in Pakistan, and then US is able to achieve its objectives of having regional peace. This movement that I have started in Pakistan, this movement that I want US to help us in, about making people aware of their constitutional rights and stand for them, is the movement that is picking on. So you see, America and Pakistan have been allies uh, for a long period of time and America has been supporting Pakistan financially also and technically also. But specifically now, it's important that the juncture that Pakistan is in and the juncture that America is in, the partnership should be productive in creating development in our country. The aid should be an uh, aid accompanied by accountability of that aid which goes into development of the people of Pakistan, the citizens of Pakistan, and not the development of the few power holders in the government. Because once it goes to the right, for the right people, for the right causes, it's going to be mutually beneficial both for Pakistan and America. Given the right environment, definitely there's nothing stopping us.